It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No, it's not. But I am by fire. Okay, everybody, it's Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And Jessica Jimenez is the first one to check in. Hello there, Jessica. Nice to see you. Er, nice that you're seeing me or that you're joining us. And Kelly Zolnar and Kaylee Robinson. Uh, fantastic. All my friends, Catherine. Oh, great. And, and uh, yes, uh, tell Liam that there will be a beep beep story uh, tonight. So um, that's great. And then he has to go to bed. Oh, and Kelly Robinson's on, too. Look at that. Like daughter, like mother. And Zygmunt. All right. Michelle Marie. Da, da, da. Okay, great. Um, so, hi, everybody. So, I remember... Yes, thank you, Valerie. It is a nice fire. It's... it's I didn't build it or anything, but... Uh, um, Maury, Gloria, Linda. I didn't uh, build it. It's, a, uh, you know, one of these fake fires. So... I could do this, you know, just that's ceramic, not even warm, but that's okay. Um, but it's still kind of nice. It says, am I in Mexico, Christy? Not yet, but I will explain why I'm not yet. I'm going tomorrow. But anyway, um, hello there, Judy and Diane, my niece. All right. That's great. Okay, so anyway, um, yes, but it's nice. I have this little little fireplace because it's uh it's not I guess where some of you are I know in the east and the um, Midwest it's a little chilly but not down here here in uh, Pensacola at least it was pretty nice actually um, all right stop I gotta stop reading uh, it's it was pretty nice today so uh, I was actually outside so that's kind of fun um, anyway uh, I stop reading those things don't stop reading me I, I, I'm not gonna read your comments right now um, but it's, it was nice today, but still it's nice to have this little fire here. So this is uh, the corner of the house where I live and everything. I just noticed this thing here. This is this little wire sticking out there. No idea if it's a hot wire or what it is. So let's find out, shall we? The only safe way we know how. Ah. Okay, all right, all right, it's not hot. Ooh, maybe, oh boy. Maybe we should get rid of it. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Hope it's not. It's a cable wire, but anyway. Okay, great. All right, everyone. So um, let me explain here why I'm not there yet um, in Mexico. Um, so last week, where was I? I was here, I think. I don't know. Maybe upstairs. I don't know where I came to you from. I think it was here. And um, no. Yes, yes, we talked about the, uh, the blessing of the, the dedication of the co-cathedral, uh, the, the altar at the co-cathedral and everything. So that went well. Um, and then after that, I was on the road again, back, back to uh, Tallahassee, back to Apalachicola, Crawfordville, Lanark. Um, that's that area way down there uh, in the southeast part of the diocese. And, um, and it was there on Saturday that I realized I have a bit of a cold. I had a cold or something. So when I came back, um, I just for the heck of it, I took one of those home tests for COVID and found out that I was positive. So I stayed in the uh, house all week. Um, didn't talk to anyone. So I was here for five, six days. And um, I could have gone to Mexico. I had my flight to go today, but uh, just to make sure it says you should wait five days for sure. And so I wanted to wait six. And so, um, I'm going to go tomorrow. I changed it tomorrow, and then I'll come back on Sunday. So I'm going, by the way, to ordain two young men in the Congregation of Holy Cross, ordain them deacons, so that'll be a blast. And um, I may confirm a bunch of kids while I'm down there as well. Uh, I think the pastor wants that to happen. They haven't had a confirmation in a couple of years, so they've got maybe 150 or 200 kids, I guess. So that'll be a lot of fun. I've got my homilies written and everything. Um, I do speak Spanish, and... Um, and uh, I'm ready to do this, so it should be, should be fun. As long as they, they, they have to be very patient with me. My Spanish is, it's above basic, it's advanced, but still they'll be able to tell. It's not my first language, so. Um, but it'll be really fun. I just, I love liturgies like that. I mean, to, I told you last week, to be able to consecrate or to dedicate an altar for the Mass is an amazing, amazing thing to do as a bishop. 
and then to uh, confirm is always neat, but then to ordain uh, people to the diaconate and priesthood is really just, uh, it's mind-blowing. So I'm, I'm excited to do that, especially in another country, in another language. Um, but thank you for your prayers, everyone. Um, like I said, it was a very mild case. I, if I hadn't taken that home test, I would have just thought it was the uh, cold, and then I would have gone back to work on Tuesday, but um, but on uh, Monday. But thankfully, I um, took the test, and so that kept me away from everybody else. But yeah, very mild, and I'm grateful for that. Um, okay, I think that's what I wanted to share with you. What else? And so I'll be going there, coming back in the next week. Yeah, yeah, so I'm back on track. Um, so it's nice to see you all. Thank you for, oh boy, here's, here's a question. What are the relics for the altar consecration? That's a good question. Um, I should answer questions every once in a while. So when I bless the altar, um, we had... Uh, uh, it's not, it used to be mandatory, now it's not, it's highly recommended that you have a relic of a saint or relics of a saint. That is a, an actual piece of bone or hair or something like that, a first class relic, something from the saint, him or herself. And uh, you put that underneath or in the altar. And um, you know, that's just, the, it's a reminder that our faith is, is of course, it's built on the apostles and, and the saints after that with Jesus Christ as the cornerstone. And so uh, it's, it's just an act of faith to do that. And so we, there were a couple of different relics I, I'm trying to remember. Uh, one was um, St. Felicity. Uh, they had something from St. Augustine and um, a couple others, St. Felix. I'm not sure if Father John had these relics or he somehow got them and so we put them in there. So it's really great. Uh, so there you go. Okay. And uh, any other questions? No, I guess not. Is my middle name... Wow. Why, I wonder why he asked that. Yes, if my middle name's Richard. That's my friend, my best friend growing up uh, from South Bend. I think he just... Huh, he must have forgotten that it's uh, Albert, actually. What a jerk. Uh, just kidding. Love him, Andy. Okay, all right. Now, so there's a little bit of a story. I thought I'd share that with you, you know, just to keep it a little light. And to keep it on the theme of my going to Mexico tomorrow, I thought uh, this will be good. So it'll be beep beep, goes to Mexico. It's kind of fun. And um, oh wait, one more, one other thing. Since I was here all week, no one's commented on this. I don't think. I don't think anyone has said anything about facial hair. That's because you can't really see it. This is a week's growth, everybody. You can't really see it, can you? See, I got a little bald spot over here. Oh well, anyway, that's, it's not gonna last, but I thought I would keep it for you all. And no one commented on it, not even my mom, who hates it, no doubt. But anyway, okay, so here goes. Um, uh, beep beep, so the, the, you know, the, the theme is beep beep goes to Mexico, so even the, uh, the theme has gotta be in Spanish. So David says, mom says shave, I knew it. Hello, Mom. I will. This has got to look really ugly to you, Mom, on the big screen. I'm going to do this just for my mom. Mm, look at that, Ma. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay. First, the song in Spanish. ¿Quién es el carro corriendo en la calle? Es un carrito rojo. Si es beep beep. Y los niños gritan, Baby beep beep, baby beep beep, baby beep beep, baby beep. Okay, great. So we start this story already en route. Beep Beep and his humans are in the car and they've been driving for a while. Beep Beep doesn't know where they're going. As usual, they don't tell Beep Beep where they're going. They just start driving. But everyone seems to be in a good mood and the kids are talking and reading and everything. And so he's excited about this. And um, he's recognizing, okay, we're driving along the Gulf Coast. Um, he's driving along the Gulf Coast and uh, he sees the Gulf on his left and so okay we're going west here we go this is great and then you know past Mississippi now we're wow we're into Texas and we're going south now so that's interesting we're heading south and um, and while they're driving through Texas he hears the kids and they're 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 saying this these weird words that he hadn't heard before they're saying hola and they, the other one says hola and then buenos dias and uh, he's like oh I know they're speaking Spanish. We're going somewhere where they speak Spanish. And they're practicing, and the mom turns around and she says, Buenos dias, niños. 
and and uh, they say, "Good morning." I mean, "Buenos dias, mama." And Beep Beep says, "Oh, that must mean good morning, Buenos dias." I see. And the mom says, "Como se llama?" And uh, and the kids are looking at each other. And mom says, "Come on, that means what is your name?" Oh, "Como se llama?" Me llamo Roberto. And they giggle, and the other one says, Me llamo Linda. Oh, okay, great. So they're practicing their Spanish, and Beep Beep's learning a little bit too. Well, anyway, he's excited now. He's never been to Mexico. He's never been to another country. He hardly makes it out of his garage, really. So this is really exciting. So now he's excited and everything. And, um, and he, so they're driving, and all of a sudden he sees this, this big building, you know, and it's got a huge American flag over it. And then there's a bridge, and there's another building, and a huge Mexican flag on the other side. And he thinks to himself, oh, this must be it. I would come to the border. This is an international border. I've never done this before. I wonder what's going to happen. And so he waits in line with all the other cars, and finally it's their turn, and they get up to the, toll booth, or to the booth, and the customs agents say, um, hello, everybody. And everyone's like, hello, hi. He says, where are you all from? And, um, and, uh, they, they said, uh, we're from here, the United States. Um, everyone? Everyone, sure, yes. And where are you going? Oh, we're going to go to an ordination in Monterey. And what's an ordination? Oh, it's some of our friends are going to become deacons. Oh, well, great, okay. And he asked him some other questions about, you know, uh, did you bring anything in? Are you bringing in any food or anything like that? And they said, no. And, and um, Beep Beep's getting a little nervous. He, should, he doesn't have to be nervous, but all of a sudden he's starting to get nervous. What if they ask me questions? I, I, I'm not, why are they asking all these questions? I don't know what to say. And all of a sudden, Beep Beep gets so nervous that one of his tires falls off. That's what happens when he gets really nervous. And the customs agent looks down and he says, what, what's that? He said, oh my gosh, I don't know. I better, I don't know, I, I, I have no idea. And so he says, well, I think we need to look at your car. Well, let's put the tire back on, but let's, let's, I want you to pull up over there. Oh no, Beep Beep's like, I, oh, I think I'm in trouble. Oh no, and the humans are like, what, why did Beep Beep, why, not Beep Beep, why did the car lose the tire? I don't know, but anyway, let's just go inside and wait for them to look at the car. So they leave this car here, and all of a sudden, they, they have this machine, and it, it's, it looks like this big box, and it, it's all around, all around Beep Beep. And Beep Beep's like, oh no, what, what's going to happen? And they turn on a switch, it's an x-ray, and all of a sudden, Beep Beep's like, <laughs> and then it was done. And the guy says, all right, nothing there. And he says, there's one more thing we've got to check. And he comes out with this pole coming toward Beep Beep with this pole and a metal disc on the bottom. And, he's, and it looks like a mirror. Oh, my gosh. And they put the mirror underneath Beep Beep, and they're looking around like that. And Beep Beep feels a little weird, a little creeped out, actually. He, you know, he says, well, I've never been to a doctor, but that's, this is kind of what it feels like. It feels weird to be examined like this. And they were looking all over, and they're like, all right, there's nothing here. You can go. And the humans come out, and he says, one more thing. I just need to take everybody's temperature. And so they take the, all the temperatures of the humans. They're like 98.1, 98.6, 98. Yeah, okay, great. And the kids say, take the car's temperature. And Beep Beep's like, no, let's just get out of here. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I don't know why, but let's just go. And he said, uh, little girl, we don't need to take the car's temperature. No, please, take the car's temperature. So they opened up the, the trunk, and Beep Beep's like, I don't know why they're doing this. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble. And he's sweating, and he's getting nervous. And the, the guy puts the little thermometer in there, and he says, oh, it's 205 degrees. And the little boy says, 205 degrees? Mom says, if I'm 100 degrees, I've got a fever. Is the car going to die? And the, the parents say, no, no, this, that's normal. The normal range for a car is 195 to 220. I just looked it up before the story. So that's well within the normal range. Let's just go. Okay, great. And the guy says, all right, everybody, have a great trip. God bless, or bye. And all, everyone says, bye. And Beep Beep's so relieved. He's like, I don't know why I was so nervous. I have nothing to be nervous for. But I just, whenever people ask me questions, I get nervous. Now they're driving across the bridge. And all of a sudden, Beep Beep realizes, wait a minute. I'm in between two countries right now. I'm in the United States, and I'm in Mexico at the same time. This is so weird, but it's really cool. And then there's another building and another customs post, and they pull up there, and there's another man who says, hola, and all the family says, hola. And Beep Beep's like, oh, I see. Now we're going to speak Spanish. And they say, you know, uh, donde, donde viven? Where do you live? And they all said, 
and los, they're practicing this, it's really hard to say, the United States is Spanish. Estados uh, uni, yeah, uh, and the guy says, I know, I speak English too. United States, right? Yeah, yes, okay, good. And where are you going? And they told him all that, and he says, okay, well, see you later. And he says, and the kids say, adios. And the little boy, he says, buenos dias, even though it wasn't morning anymore, but he was just practicing his Spanish. And they're driving. And now they're in Mexico, and Beep Beep's like, wow, I'm in another country. But it kind of looks the same. There's restaurants, and there's stores, and people are eating, and they're walking and working, and all of that stuff. And there's traffic lights just like the same, like back in the United States. Huh. And then all of a sudden, they pull into this, this place, and, um, and he, Beep Beep's like, I wonder what this is. Gas, gaso, gasolina, gasolina. Wait, gasolina, gasolina, oh yeah, that's how you say gas in Spanish, gasolina. So they get gas, gasolina, and then they drive off, and they're driving for a long time. They finally see the, the, the big city, Monterrey. It's one of the largest cities in the country, so it's just huge, sprawling, and they get in there finally, they get to their hotel, and the humans all unpack, and they leave Beep Beep there in the garage. And Beep Beep's just, he's a little weird, weirded out by being in a new place, but he's so tired, he just wants to go to sleep. And he starts to close his car eyes, and, um, and he hears, Hola! 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 Oh, oh, that means Spanish. That means hello. Hola, he says. And the other and a car says, Buenos noches! Buenos noches! And he says, Buenos noches, I don't know what that means. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If buenos dias means good morning, dias is day, buenos noche, no, oh, that's a night. Buenos noches, good night. He said, oh, yeah, buenos noches, no, no, whatever you said. And uh, anyway, then, then the other car says, como se llama? Como se llama? Oh my gosh, he's like that. I learned this today, como se, oh, me, me, me lamo, me lamo beep beep. And the car says, beep, beep, que nombre, beep, beep, es un chiste, it's, it's a joke, right? And he says, no, me, la, me llamo beep, beep. He says, oh, beep, beep, okay, bienvenidos, beep, beep, bienvenidos, welcome to Mexico. He's, oh, thank you. And they're, they're talking both in English and Spanish, and he's learning different words, and then he says, okay, I'm really tired, estoy cansado. He says, okay, buenas noches, beep, beep, que duermen bien, que duermen bien, sleep well. Okay, you too, he says, and then Beep Beep goes to sleep, his first night in a new country. The end. So there you go. Uh, it kind of dragged on a little bit there. I didn't really know where to go with it, but it was kind of fun to bring in a little Spanish and English and everything. So there you go. So um, thank you for putting up with me. Uh, now you see what the people in the congregation will have to put up with on Saturday at the confirmation and the ordination masses. Um, with my Spanish, broken Spanish, Espanol roto. Well, have a great night, everybody. Muy buenas noches a todos que duermen bien, sleep well, and um, you niños, go to bed uh, and sleep well. And um, I will see you all next week or whoever wants to watch next week. Again, I'll just keep doing this. For those of you who may have tuned in for the first time tonight and might be lost, this, I do this every week just as a way to kind of stay connected with people um, and, uh, and just either tell stories or just talk about what, what's, what I'm experiencing um, as a bishop in the diocese, things like that. So uh, it's just kind of a good way for us to do that. So thanks for being with us, Desiree says, thanks, Bishop Beard. <laughs> Maybe I will keep it. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a little auction to see, you know, how much money I can raise to shave or not to shave. Nah, forget it. I'll shave it tonight, probably. I don't want it. Okay. All right, everyone. God bless you. I'll say a little prayer for you. Um, let's also pray for, there's a lot of things to pray for in the world. Um, uh, certainly uh, pray for the, uh, the pandemic. I know a lot of people and a couple more priests are uh, uh, pos tested positive today. So um, several of our guys have that. So... We pray for them, and thankfully it's they're milder for most of them, so um, it's a mild case, but uh, pray for them. But especially our Holy Father has asked the whole world right now to pray for peace in Ukraine and in that region, peace among uh, Russia and Ukraine and, um, and in China and North Korea and so many other places where there's violence and um, uh, threats of war and division. 
So let's pray for peace as well, especially in that part of the world. Good and gracious God, we ask you to watch over your children, all your children throughout the world, but especially those places and those children who are experiencing division and violence tonight. May your peace reign in our hearts and in our world. May you be the center of our lives in all things so that we may find that peace and delight in that peace and share that peace with one another. Bless me and my trip tomorrow. Bless um, Pedro and Angel who will be ordained deacons on Saturday and their families and all who will be confirmed as well. Keep us safe. Keep us ever mindful of your presence and love. Bless your people, I pray, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. God bless you all. Have a good night. Muy buenas noches.